Of all the milestones and hurdles that we've been through, teething has been the biggest struggle. Bean began teething at two months, but didn't get her first tooth until 10 months later after she was already a year old. I can't even begin to tell you how many times I googled when is it normal for her first tooth to come in. The most helpful thing I came across is this color-coded chart from Origel. It details when each tooth should come in. As you can see, there are large variances between when they are supposed to come in, so no reason to worry. Next up was dealing with the pain as the teeth finally came in. It seems like every person I meet has a home remedy I should try. Here's the two I've actually found to work. Chamomile tea is a great way to naturally de-stress and calm down. You can add it to your child's bottle or sippy cup. Make the tea as you normally would, then allow the tea to cool to room temperature. Then add equal parts tea and milk or formula to their bottle or cup. Chamomile tea is caffeine free, so it can even be given before bed. Next, we found these munchkin food pouches. We went through several of these from six months on. You can fill them with things like ice, frozen grapes, or even blueberries. It's a great way to numb the gums while still getting the nutrients they need. Teethers are also a great option to keep your toddler busy and distract them from the constant pain. But how do you choose one when they all claim to work? We've tried too many to count, but Bean has liked very few. Her favorites have been this vibrating one made by Bright Starts. When she bites on the star, it vibrates and numbs her gums. Also, she loves the gel-filled ones that you freeze. Munchkin makes a ring that she will always chew on and could hold on to from a very young age. But what about all those over-the-counter medicines? Are they actually safe? When choosing a teething medicine, there are a lot of options out there. So let's begin with an overview of the ingredients and what to look for. First of all, there's no over-the-counter medicine that's perfect. Be on the lookout for these ingredients. Mineral oil, petrolatum, any artificial sweeteners, dyes, or artificial colors. A big artificial sweetener you want to be on the lookout for is sodium saccharide. The main reason to be on the lookout for these ingredients is their effects on toddlers' bodies are relatively unknown. There have been some reports done and some people are very concerned about the side effects from using these ingredients, which could include anything from um, digestive interferences, blocking the absorption of fats, to it causing like a laxative effect, also, in more extreme cases, there being an issue with birth defects and cancer. If you're interested in choosing a homeopathic medicine, look for these ingredients. Chamomilla, Coffea crudia, Calcarea phosphorica. These ingredients have a calming effect that helps soothe the toddler as teething can be very stressful on their bodies. Also, it can help with the inability to sleep, headaches, and even diarrhea. One homeopathic brand's Highlands makes a tablet that can be dissolved into their milk. Always make sure to consult with your pediatrician if you have any concerns. 